Good afternoon. This Good is afternoon. This is Yosef. He is one of the very best gardeners here at Charles Street Gardens who has been working with propagation, seeding, many different types of plants over the years. And today he's going to talk about dahlia grown from seed. Yeah, dahlia is very easy to grow from seed. The one who grow dahlias, zinnia from seeds, is very able to grow dahlia from seed because they are cousin. This is annual mm -hmm. and this is perennial. And you grow a lot of dahlias, then you select the best. Even I love all of them. Now all these dahlia in front of me and in front of you on the table, they were all grown from seed. Yeah, all of them. Okay. From seeds. Let's take a little look. Different colors. Even the same color, you get different shape. They are all from one pocket. Mm, seed. Okay. And you get a lot of surprises. The plants, some of them get double, some of them get single. Even the singles are very beautiful. The doubles are beautiful. Some of them short, some of them tall. See? Look at this color, my God. And you have to remember that when it open, it has certain color after a couple days, the color change a little bit, mm -hmm. but still beautiful. Excellent. How long does it take for uh, these plants to grow from seed? Uh, it takes about 90 days, but hmm. the best thing to start them in the beginning of March. Okay. And April, and in the end of May, or in the middle of May sometime, you start to see the surprises, one after uh -huh. one after Now, do one. you grow these in a greenhouse? Yeah. If okay. you, you grow anything before April, it should be in the greenhouse Got because it. the weather. But if you are in warm country, don't need a greenhouse, you can grow mm -hmm. it early. But this year, next year, I will try to start in January and see the Okay. What, one more thing. Yes. Um, once you get the flowers growing and say you have them in the ground and they're growing fairly tall, what do you do? Do you save the roots on these? Yeah. The bulbs? In autumn, all of this will disappear, except okay. the roots. Okay. You have to store them in a place. Uh, you can sprinkle them with uh, some sulfur, or mm -hmm. you can mulch them here in California. They yes. might survive without gotcha. anything. And if you like certain one, you can take the, uh, the tubers and divide it, but you should have connection with the stem because it is not like that potato doesn't, the buds doesn't grow in any place in the <laughs> tuber. It should Got it. be like this. Excellent, excellent. Well, these are definitely beautiful. There's a whole range of colors here and they all came from the same packet, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Well, I appreciate it, Yosef. Thank, thank you once again. You are um, very welcome. Very we will welcome. be doing another uh, series of videos with Yosef, and we'll be talking about propagation, yeah. seeding, both annual and perennials, yeah. and how easy it can be if you know what to do. Yeah, because every plant ha has to treat it different way, whatever. Some plants, they grow very easy and you don't want them like the weeds in the garden. <laughs> they grow in any situation. And some plants, you spend hard time, you don't succeed in growing yes, them. Yes. Because you don't know the real reason for that. When you know the real reason, you might be able. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Yosef, yeah. and you have a good afternoon. You too. 